Hi guys, Michael Fights of Friends. So we've been waiting patiently for the announcement of the main event for UFC 230. And we've seen this question mark on there, which has created a lot to talk about, a lot of speculation, uh, which made myself and Chell Sonnen pretty close to 100% sure that John Jones was going to be the main event for this. Enough that apparently they offered him the shot. Uh, they offered him to fight Alexander Gustafson. He said it was too early. So to save the main event, they offered Yuani and Chinchek a chance to fight Valentina Shevchenko for the title at UFC 230 instead of UFC 231. So when they got a hold of Yuana. Uh, she said she wouldn't be available yet for UFC 230. So Dana goes ahead and puts this fight in there. And I'm not freaking joking you. He thrust Valentina Shevchenko into the main event of a Dustin Poirier versus Nate Diaz card. Look at this card. Dustin Poirier versus Nate Diaz. Luke Rockhold versus Chris Weidman. The return of Ronaldo Souza versus David Branch. Derek Brunson versus the style bender Israel Adesanya. And he makes the vain event because he has to have a belt on there. Valentina Shushenko versus Sahara Eubanks. A girl who is three and two. She has five fights in her professional MMA history. And you're going to put that fight above Dustin and Nate. Above Luke Rockhold versus Chris Weidman rematch? Make that a five-rounder. Uh, I like this card. I still like this card. I still will pay for this card because of those four fights. Dustin and Nate, Luke and Chris, uh, Ronaldo uh, and Branch, and Derek Brunson and Adesanya. But... I have no interest in seeing Valentino Shevchenko beat up a 3-2 and two fighter. We've seen this before, and she almost killed somebody the last time she was in there in a rematch. Are they going to make Mara Yamasaki the referee, too? I mean, I this has got to be the biggest promotional fail of Dana's career. The, on, the only way he could save this, he could, he could save this very, very easily. If he has the power to do so. The UFC definitely has the power to do so because this has already been sanctioned. And let me tell you how you do this. Nate Diaz and Dustin have been calling for it, especially Nate Diaz. You make that fight for a 165-pound belt. Then you move 170 up to 175. I've been saying this that you need to move 170 up to 175, and they're not going to care. Uh, Chell Sonnen said it on his show last week. Uh, he agrees with me. This is the belt to be made. Uh, for Nate to just walk into a title shot like that, I mean, it seems a little superficial, but who the fuck is Sahara Eubanks? Nobody knows who this lady is. Nobody. Valentino Shevchenko is like, who, who am I fighting? I've never heard of this person. You tell me time and I'll be there, but I've never heard of this person. <laughs> I mean, five fights. Five fights in her entire career. And you're now making this for a vacant belt. You want to push women's MMA? You're nullifying gains in women's MMA by just saying let's just throw any woman in there that's willing to face Valentina Shoshenko oh this girl she's got you know five fights and as a 500 fighter basically three and two sure throw her in there um, you know she's one and one in her last two it's not like she's on a streak and you throw her into a title shot, you make that title basically worthless. But you have to have a belt on there to make a main event. That's that's the thinking behind this. 
So if you have to have a belt on there to make the main event, I said do Dustin Poirier uh, versus Nate Diaz or make Luke Rockhold versus Chris Weidman, put it at 205 and make that for the interim 205 belt since Daniel Cormier can't defend two belts at once. You know, I like that. Uh, I'm fine with either one of those fights as the main event for five rounds with no belt. I, I really think it's a travesty if Dustin versus Nate is not five rounds, which it looks like it's not going to be now. And Valentino versus Eubanks is not going to be five rounds because Eubanks will be lucky to make it to the second round. Uh, and we all know it. It's... This this is the kind of thing that Bellator would do, maybe. You know, the Bellator of five years ago would do to build up one of their champions. Put them against somebody that's three and two. Get that out of here. Are you kidding me? Uh, now, Yuani and Chenchek said she found out about losing her title shot from the media. Now, that's kind of only a half-truth. Uh, she did find out that she wasn't scheduled to defend the or to fight for the title at UFC 231, it looks like through the media, but she was contacted. She did confirm that she was contacted to be the main event at UFC 230. And she said that's not enough time. Now I don't blame her at all. I don't. I don't blame her at all. This is a huge fight. You need a full camp. Uh, Valentino Shevchenko just got through a camp. Uh, she was ready to fight Nico Montano. So I don't know when exactly they told her this was going to happen. But she should be in shape, at least anyways. Just just getting through a fight uh, or just getting through making weight, not not even fighting. And Nico Montano, of course, couldn't, couldn't make it to the scale. Uh, she was too far overweight to fight. Uh, so she was stripped. But I want to know what you guys think about Is this the biggest fail in Dana White's promotion history? Uh, this this has definitely got to be the worst main event uh, since the Fertitta brothers sold uh, to WME. I, absolutely, uh, in my opinion. And this is a great card. And now you, you drag down a great card. And you make it look piss poor by putting a subpar main event on there. And that's what a lot of people are going to look at. Your your flyby fans, which you can, you can hate your flyby fans or your, you know, your casual fans all you want. You need those people if you're going to go over two, 300000 for a pay-per-view. Now, they're going to look at the main event maybe the co-main event and most of them really don't look past that uh, now i think i think dustin and nate will draw a lot of attention but it would have drawn a lot more attention as the main event people are not going to buy this pay-per-view to watch valentino shushenko versus sahara eubanks i've never met a person in my life I am pretty positive that is going to buy this pay-per-view for Valentina Shevchenko versus Sahara Eubanks. I mean, not, none of you out there. If I'm wrong, let me know. I'm buying this because I want to. I really want to see Sahara Eubanks. I think she's going to put up a competitive match against Valentina Shevchenko. Get that the fuck out of here. That, all right, let me know what you guys think down below. Is this card still worth buying, in your opinion? Uh, is Am I overacting? Is this not such a big promotional fail? Uh, did Dana miss the boat? I think he missed the boat on several, several levels. And does he turn around? If the numbers start to not trend well for this, does he end up making Dustin Poirier versus Nate Diaz 165? pound championship match which he should and the other half of this is that i've thought of was okay dana ends up in a tight spot and this main event's been this question mark so it's been this big thing over our heads john jones isn't 
willing to fight so soon. Uh, Yuan is not willing to fight yet. Um, even though you've said you're not going to make this 165 pound match, you know, title match, now you can act like your hand is pushed. And if this starts not trending well, he can say, hey, this just wasn't selling. We're going to do a co-main event. This is a double championship main event. And Dustin Poirier versus Nate Diaz is for the 165-pound title. I think that makes a ton of sense. And I hope he does it. I mean, I buy this card either way. I buy it, for, like I said, for those four fights. Not for Shevchenko versus Eubanks. I could care less. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you think this card's uh, still worth it, uh, if you think it's a worthy card, or what what you think about the UFC dragging us out for so long and then coming out with this piss poor main event. In my opinion, maybe it's not piss poor. In your opinion, maybe you want to see Valentino Shevchenko beat up on Sahara Eubanks for two rounds or however long it lasts. Let me know down in the comments down there below. Uh, as always, I love you. I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses later.